and welcome to Wellbeing Wednesday. We at the Museums of the University of St Andrews will be encouraging you to take 10 minutes for a break to listen to museum story time. The objects in our collections have had fascinating lives and also tell the stories of those who have had fascinating lives. This is our chance to share them with you. My name's Ailey and I'm going to be your host. Today, we're going to be focusing on the life and work of Frankie Raffles, who is a feminist social documentary photographer who was born in Salford in 1955. Through her work, Raffles amplified the voice of women who really needed that advocacy most. She was based in Edinburgh, but she travelled widely. She photographed women in their everyday lives in Scotland and further afield. As a teenager, Raffles was really active in Jewish youth groups and she was a lifeguard at swimming pool in Tel Aviv in Israel the summer after she left school. After school, Raffles came to the University of St Andrews to study philosophy and while she was here, she was very active in the women's liberation movement. The women's liberation movement fought for the equality of women. Being part of groups like this while at school and at university shows Frankie's compassion for the lives of others and for her strong support for women's rights. In 1977, she graduated from St Andrews with an MA Honours in Moral Philosophy and she moved to a derelict farmhouse on the Isle of Lewis, but did eventually come back to the mainland. Raffles came out as lesbian in 1983 and she and her first daughter Anna born in 1979, moved to Edinburgh. It was then that she started working as a self-employed photographer. Frankie spent her time taking photographs of those who she wanted to give voice to. That was often people who were facing a difficult situation in their home lives or their work lives. Raffles mainly photographed women in Edinburgh, but she also went to places like China, Russia and India to show what women have in common across the world. For example, she took a trip across the Soviet Union on the Trans-Siberian Railway to China with their partner Sandy, and they also visited places like India, Tibet, Hong Kong and the Philippines. They travelled for over a year, and throughout this time she was taking lots of photographs, many of which documented women's lives and work. And when she returned from these travels, she began selecting works for future exhibitions. Raffles is also well remembered for setting up a charity with a group of women called Zero Tolerance in 1992. The aim of the charity was to save women from domestic abuse and violence. She was establishing her reputation as a campaigning feminist social documentary photographer on her work on the first Zero Tolerance campaign, which had been funded by Edinburgh District Council's Women's Committee. The images highlighted men's violence against women and children in a really innovative way. There were statements that were short and bold, which highlighted how common men's violence against women and children can be and what the reality of that lived experience is. This text was placed alongside black and white photographs of women and girls in recognisable domestic settings. It was the first time that mass media social marketing techniques had been used in a feminist campaign. Raffles tragically died at the age of 39 in 1994 due to complications after giving birth to her twin daughters and she is survived by her partner Sandy and their five children. Raffles is rightly remembered as a pioneering social documentary photographer with a distinctly feminist perspective. We are so lucky to have her archive here at St Andrews. Because of this, we can allow people to access this vision of equality and be inspired by it. See you next time. Bye.